Hey everybody, so with almost all of the big name free agents off the board at this point, I want to talk about one contract that really stood out to me as a steal of a deal from Wednesday that I thought the team did a tremendous job of getting this player at a very team-friendly contract and a very team-friendly cap hit, especially given the market for defensemen and the way that the defensive market was on Wednesday, the money being thrown around. Montreal got David Savard on a four-year deal at just $3.5 million per season, and um, I think that was... Probably the biggest steal of a contract as far as cap hit goes in free agency. David Savard is coming off a Stanley Cup win with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Very good defensive defenseman. And a guy that the at a position that the Canadians really needed with the news that Shea Weber will not be playing next season and may never play again. They needed a right shot D-man. They went out and they got it. And they got one of the best team-friendly deals that we saw in all of free agency so before we fully get into it i just ask you please hit that thumbs up and subscribe it helps the channel a ton and is very much appreciated but let's get into it here david savard is a 30 year old right shot d-man he played a long time with Columbus and then finished up last year with Tampa Bay, was traded at the deadline, went on to win the Stanley Cup with the Tampa Bay Lightning, adds a ton of experience into the uh, Canadians lineup, a very good defensive defenseman, and they get him, again, four years, $3.5 million per season, and when you look at what other defensemen were able to get on Wednesday, I really do think that this is probably the biggest steal of a contract because defensemen, particularly right shot defensemen, but defensemen in general were getting huge, huge money. I mean, just just for example, Ryan Suter, who was bought out by Minnesota. Now, Ryan Suter is definitely a little bit above the level of David Savard, but he got a four-year deal as a 36-year-old at $3.65 million. Cody Ceci, yes, Cody Ceci got $3.25 million from the Edmonton Oilers on a four-year contract. Alex Goligoski at four 35 years old, got five mil a or one year deal, so not a year, five mil on a one year deal from the Minnesota Wild. Now, I like Alex Goligoski, but he is not the player that he was, say, five, six years ago. So, Alex Goligoski gets five million per or for the for next season. David Savard gets 3.5. That only. 250k more than Cody Ceci. David Savard is a heck of a lot better defenseman than Cody Ceci. Tucker Poolman got 2.5 million on a four-year deal from the Vancouver Canucks. Tucker Poolman is a number six seven defenseman. He's He's a borderline in your lineup guy, bottom pair guy. David Savard is a very solid kind of three four guy defensively. Um, and for him to get, you know, only a million more, I mean, Alec, Alec Martinez. Now, again, I think Martinez might a, a little bit step above David Savard, but he got 5.25 million from Vegas. So for, for Montreal to be able to get a stable, good veteran, smart leader Stanley Cup winning experienced defenseman like David Savard at just 3.5 million when the rest of the league was shelling out money for defensemen I think that's a huge steal and I think David Savard's contract with the Canadians is probably the biggest steal of day one of free agency and um I just absolutely love it and this was in this was a area that Montreal needed to make a move, obviously. With Shea Weber gone and knowing that he's not going to play next season, David Savard is not single-handedly going to replace Shea Weber. He's not a franchise defenseman like Shea Weber. 
But what he is going to do is come in and really soften the blow of losing Shea Weber. And he's going to play really solid defense and, you know, do everything in his own zone that Montreal needs him to do. He's probably going to play 20-ish minutes a night. And he's going to be a really good, solid player for them, I think. I absolutely love this deal. And uh, I think it was a tremendous move by the Canadians to get him at such a low cap pit. I mean, if you're talking about Alex Goligoski at um, at five million or David Savard at three point five, David Savard all day. If you're talking about Cody Cece at three point two five or David Savard at three point five, David Savard all day. I mean, compared to other deals that were happening. This was a no-brainer move for Montreal. He's got over 600 career games. You know, he, he, he's not a huge offensive point producer. He's not going to rack it up on the score sheet. But if he has 20, 25 points and plays 20 minutes a night and is shut down defensively like, he, like we've seen him be in the past and we know that he can be, this is an absolute win for the Canadians and one of my favorite contracts that I saw signed on Wednesday. Um, I, I just, I have nothing bad to say about this deal. The only way this goes south is if David Savard just like jump, falls off a cliff and turns into Carl Alsner or something like that. That is the only way. But even if that happens, honestly, 3.5 mil isn't that bad of a cap hit if you have to buy it out like I mean we're talking worst case scenario here like Savard is just awful like you could buy this out and it wouldn't be uh brutally damaging to the cap situation in Montreal that's what I mean like all in all this is just a incredibly team friendly deal and uh, again, I don't think it's going to go worst case scenario. I don't think David Savard's going to fall off a cliff. I think he's going to be a really solid stay at home defenseman for the Canadians. And he's going to be well worth this money. And he's going to play a big role in the top four on this team. So um, absolutely love this move. I think it's, pro it's the biggest steal of free agency so far. And um, I definitely think Savard is going to do very, very well in Montreal. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon merchandise store, donation link, and memberships are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.